Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. Derek is going to show us how to create a fog volume in Cinema 4D and Redshift Renderer. This lesson is taken from our brand new Redshift Materials Masterclass, available now at cgshortcuts.com. If you'd like to learn all the ins and outs of professional material creation in Cinema 4D and Redshift, you can grab this course along with all of our other courses for a huge 20% off during our Black Friday sale, which starts today and ends on Sunday. Check the link down below. Okay, without any further ado, here's Derek with the tutorial. In this project, we're going to take a look at using the noise to make our haze look more like natural turbulent fog. So firstly, we need to add a light, preferably not a dome light. They don't work the best with fog. It's better to use an infinite light or an area light. We have an area light here behind our window off to the left of our cube. To make fog work, we need to go into our area light and go to the volume tab and increase the contribution to one. If you want some lights to affect fog more or less than others, this is the attribute where you control that per light. Now let's create a redshift object, redshift environment. Instead of that, we want to adjust our scattering. This is going to affect how thick or thin looking our fog is. Lower values mean thinner, lighter fog, while higher values mean thicker, denser fog. Let's set it to 0.01. We can see we have a nice even light fog throughout our scene. I want to make this more of a spotlight. So let's go into our RS area light, scroll down and adjust that spread attribute down to 0.18. Now we have a nice focus light with those beams coming through that window. Now this looks good, but it's more of a haze than a fog or smoke machine look. So I really want that natural turbulence that fog has. So let's create an RS material. Delete the RS material node and bring in a max on noise. Let's set that to FBM and the overall scale of two. Now let's go down to the low clip and set it to 0.25 and up the brightness and the contrast of the noise to 0.2 to make sure we have that nice dynamic fog. Now we just need to connect the noise node to the output volume and it's that simple. Apply the material to your RS environment object Hit render. Now instead of an even haze, we have a nice smoky foggy look. Of course, you can change the seeds for different looks as well as adjust the octaves and lucinarity and gain for even more control. The best part is, is now we can animate our noise to make a nice rolling fog. Let's go to the animation section and type in 0.5. That's going to make our fog have some nice slow natural variation and movement. Then let's go to the input section, set your source to world and make sure that we're on the first frame in our scene and click this little keyframe button. Now go to the last frame and type in negative 0.1 for the Y and 0.2 for the Z in the offset. Click the record button again. That will make our fog appear to be floating away and up slightly. Now I almost always forget the C4D defaults to an easy in, easy out curve for keyframes. So for this, we want a linear speed for our fog. That way our fog's not starting in slow and getting faster than slowing back down. We just want an even speed. So we go through the window, F curve, and then we select our max on noise, select the coordinate Y and Z, hit H to frame everything, select the first and last keyframes and click this sharp little angle line here to make sure we have a linear speed. Now our fog will move at a constant speed rather than ramping up and slowing down. Now we can render out an animation and voila, a much more natural looking fog rather than an even haze. Obviously you can adjust your noise and scale to create infinite looks and variations. Also play with the contrast levels. Some high contrast looks can make nice little floating puffs or cloud looking fog, but there you go. You can just plug in a noise into your output volume and put that on your environment object. And yes, it's 3D, it's not just a flat projection so we can rotate our camera around and see that the noise is in 3D space. I really love playing around with Fox, and this just makes it look that much better. If you found this technique helpful, don't forget to check out our Redshift Materials Masterclass over at cgshortcuts.com, where you can learn loads more about creating professional looking shaders and materials in Redshift. Our Black Friday sale is on now till Sunday, so you can grab 20% off all of our courses. Okay, that's it for now. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. 
Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below, or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. There's loads of extra resources on our website, and you can win epic CG prizes in our monthly challenges. Check out cgshortcuts.com for more details. Catch you next time.